Hi, friends. Hi, friends. Good to see you, my friends. I'm so glad to see you. It's mm -hmm. a little different, but we're still going to have a little class today. And Sir Jim is here, and I'm here. We're going to do some fun activities. So before we start our activities, we're going to talk a little bit about them, and then it would be a really good idea for this activity if you had some space, if Ooh. you had some space to move around. So some space to move your body, some space to move your legs. So I'm going to stand up in a minute, but for now, you're okay. Just make sure when we're ready, we can move around. So what we're going to talk about today is this. Let me show you what we're going to talk about today. Ready? Let me share my screen. Mr. Jim, can you see the big white screen? Yes, I can. So today we're going to talk about this. Whoa. Does anyone know what that is? I'm sure everybody knows what it is, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say it on three. One, two, three. Clock. Very good. It's a clock, right? That tells us what time it is, right? It tells us what time it is. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the clock. We're not going to talk about what time it is specifically. I'm not going to ask you that, but I am going to ask you to move your body a little bit. Now let's see if we can follow the numbers all the way around. Let's see our numbers. Ready? We have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have all the numbers from one to twelve that go around our clock, and they're all in different spaces. Mm -hmm. And we also have these two hands, right? We have a minute hand and an hour hand. Mm -hmm. So two different hands. So I thought today that we could be the hands of the clock. Whoa. And we could be the hands of the clock. But the tricky part is we, we have hands and we have feet, but the clock only has hands. Hmm. So I said to Mr. Jim, how are we going to ask my friends to pretend that they're moving like a clock if the clock only has hands and we have hands and feet? So Mr. Jim came up with a really good idea. He said, I'll just draw a wiggly guy in there. Yeah. That a wiggly, a wiggly guy. So let's take a look at what our wiggly guy looks like. But before we do that, Mr. Jim has a song that we're going to learn to sing today. So Mr. Jim, can you show us your, our song? <laughs> our song goes like this. Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? What time does it say? Do you know what time? Do you know what time it is? Do you know? Uh, do, do, you do you know? know? Does anyone? Do you know? Don't. don't because uh, we changed oh, the no, clocks. No, that no, we'll no, figure it out. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Do you know what time it is? So let's sing that song one more time, and then we'll see what'll happen to our clock on our screen. Let's give it a try. Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? What time does it say? All right, so let's see what's going to happen. Let's see if we have a regular plain old clock. Wait, what? Ah. That's not a plain old clock. What? That's what you did, Mr. Jim. He put a wiggly jiggly man, like we have in our class sometimes. He put a wiggly jiggly man in the clock. So what it's going to be is for our job is we're going to try to make our bodies look like the guy in the clock, right? So. Looks like he's putting his two hands up to the 12, and his two feet are straight down to the number six, right? So let's see if we can stand up. This is where I'm gonna ask you to stand up. Mr. Jim, if you had room to stand up too, you could. Okay. I'm gonna stand up. Nice job. All right, let's sing our song, and then when Mr. Jim stops his music, that's when you make your body look like that. You ready? Let's sing it together. Time it is. Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? What time does it say? You do it. Stretch your body up, 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 tall, up, tall. Touch the 12 and touch the number six. Very nice, very nice, everyone. Oh, good job. All right, when Mr. Jim sings his song again, we can move our body. Keep it still. Do you know what 
time it is? Do you know what time it is? What time does it say? Let's take a look if we have another one. Whoa, okay. So it looks like both of he's facing this way, right? He's not facing right at the clock anymore. One hand, two hands are up like this, and then looks like he's like leaning over a little bit. So can you lean forward to touch the trail and keep your feet on the five? Let me see. Stretch, stretch. Let me see it. Hold it. Hold it. You gotta wait for the song. Hold it. Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? What time does it say? Hmm. Whoa! Ah. All right, this guy, he's got his two feet on the seven, and then one hand is pointing to what number? 11. And one hand is pointing to what number? Two. So can I see it? See how I'm leaning over like that guy? Can you lean like that too in your camera? Let me see. Whoa. Let me see. Hold it. You got to hold it. Keep up legs stretch even higher. Touch the two. Touch the number 11 and wait for Mr. Jim. Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? What time does it say? Oh, but what time, Mr. Wiggly Jiggly Man, what time does it say? Ooh. Oh, let's see. Oh, man, this one's going to be super hard. All right, so. Looks like he's got two hands up and then one leg up. Can you get one leg up and hold it? Let me see. Let me see two hands, one leg. You can do it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, one leg up. Wait for it. Do you know what time it is? What else we got? All right, these are getting trickier, Mr. Jim. You're making them tricky. Yeah, they're pretty tricky. They're getting tricky. Let's see what it could be. Well, I don't see one yet. Where is it? I, don't, I guess we don't even. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, this one you might need to lay down for, or maybe you want to do it. Get your arms up, but they're really close together. One is going to be touching the 12, and one is going to be touching the 11. Can you do it? Let me see. If it's hard for you, you can just do it with your arms. If it's hard for you, you can do it with your arms. But let me see. Can you stretch? Ooh. Let me see. You can do it. Hold it. Hold it. Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? What time does it? Stretch in, good stretch in. Let's see what else we have. Anything else, Wiggly Jiggly Man? Uh, <laughs> what do you think? Mr. Jim, how should we do that? I thought you could kind of like lean over and put one on. All right, look, it's really fun to do on your camera because watch, it almost looks like you're lying down, but you're not. Ready? Watch. Yeah. Uh, actually, he's facing this way. I gotta face this way. All right, so one arm is by his body, and then one arm is pointing down. Oh, and he's, his face is like this. Hmm. Hold it. You can hold it. Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? What time does it say? Mr. Wiggly Jiggly Man, you're getting tricky. You are getting tricky, Mr. Wiggly Jiggly Man. Let's see. Oh, okay. This one, I think we can do this one. This one we can do. All right. So one foot is, looks like it's firmly on the ground at the number six. And one foot is just a little bit up in the air. And you have your hands spread like we did before at 11 and two. So let me try it. I'm going to stand all the way up for this one. So one foot up in the air a little bit, two hands up. This one you can do. Let me see. Let me see. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Ooh. Mr. Jim, can you lift your hands? Let me see. Oh, nice. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? What time does it say? Hmm. 
what time does it say? Let's see what the next one could be. Hmm, I don't see one yet. Whoa. All right. So, Mr. Jim, is he, he almost looks like he's slipping. Almost, yeah. He's slipping. So, I'm going to pretend like you're slipping. So, he's got one hand straight up in the sky for the 12, one hand over for the 10, one foot way up for the number three, and then tilt it a little for the number five. Let me see. Can you do it? Hold it. You can do it. Hold it. You can do it. Hold it. Hold it. Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? What time does it say? Let's see. Let's see. It's getting really, really tricky. Let's see what. Are there any more? Uh oh. Here it comes. How am I supposed to? What? Wait. Mr. Jim, how am I supposed? Wait, what? Wait, no, I can't. Wait, come back. Come, wait, no, come back. Wait, come back. I can't. Hold on, come back. Mr. Jim, what, what did you do? Where did it go? What? It just kept going. Just, just oh, oh, there it is. Thank goodness. Yeah. All right. All right. So this one is like a, tw he's twisted almost like it looks like a really tricky yoga position. Yeah. So I'm going to try, you try whatever is easiest for you. It looks like his legs are crossed. So bring one leg over the other and then his arms are crossed. Left arm goes up, right arm goes down. How am I doing, Mr. Jim? I think that's pretty good. Pretty good. He's reaching way down low and way up high. I don't know that I can get my foot up here though. Maybe you can try it at home. Let me see. Hold it. You can do it. Maybe you want to get your foot up. Whoa. <laughs> Keep holding it. Keep holding it. Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? What time does it say? That has to be the trickiest one. I don't know if I can do any more tricky ones. That has to, that has to be it. That has to be it. Oh man, oh, it looks like it's finished. Thank goodness, looks like it's up. Oh no. Ah! What? All right, all right, stay there, we're ready. Oh no, stay, no, wait, 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 no, no. Wiggly, no, wiggly guy. You gotta come, come back down, no, no, come back down. Okay. Hey, no, no, you gotta. Wait. All right, there he is, all right, very good, all right, excellent. All right, so we're ready, so let's look. He's got one arm down low, one arm, I'm trying to follow. No, wait, stop, no, you gotta. No, stay, come back down. Come back down. I want to, I want to try it. Come on, one more. Th oh, there it is. Thank goodness. Okay. All right. So what we have to do is, can I just move for this one, Mr. Jim, to try to make it happen? Or do I have to stay still? Um, you can make a decision. I think, it, right. I think I'm going to move. Right. Right. It looks like he's like moving. You kinda wiggling. You kind of have to, you kind of just have to wiggle as much as you can and keep wiggling. As much as you can. Yeah. Alright, so maybe you could play that song really fast while we wiggle. Let's try okay, it. Okay, that sounds good. Do you know what time it is? Or do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? What time does it say? One more time. Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? What time does it say? What time does it say? Excellent job, my friends. Excellent job. Awesome work. That was a tricky one to try to keep your body moving. Now, is this really what a clock looks like? No, no that's not really what a clock looks like. But I thought today we would have some fun. So you can try that at home, too. You can draw yourself a clock. And that's how you would draw a body. One hand has to go to one number, another hand to another number, and same with the feet. And you can try it at your house, too, and see how it goes. So great job, my friends. Thank you for trying. Thank you for moving your bodies. That was awesome, awesome work. We're going to get ready. Just like we do in our classroom, we're going to sing our goodbye song. So whatever is the easiest way for you to sing, if you want to drum on your desk, you want to do the gorilla, or maybe on your knees, I'm going to choose my desk. So let's sing. Ready? Here we go. So long. Farewell. To you, my friends, goodbye for now. Until we meet again, I said so long. Farewell to you, my friends, goodbye for now. 
until we meet again. Excellent job, my friends, my friends. All right, I will see you very, very soon. All right. Have a Bye, great Brian. rest of the day.